Ashford and I'm playing Sylvia and Sylvia on Broadway. Hey, hey, hey. I am here at Broadway.com to do roll call, roll call. I'm on Broadway.com doing roll call, roll call. I was nine and I was fearless. I played Tina Denmark and Ruthless, originally uh, played by Laura Bell Bundy. I did a lot of research. I watched The Valley of the Dolls, The Bad Seed, Gypsy, All About Eve. Uh, did I forget any? No, I watched them over and over and over again, and that is why I'm a gay man inside. <music> Betty DeMello on Masters of Sex is the polar opposite of Annalie Ashford. Um, which means she tells people how it is. I wish that I was Betty all the time. I wish I was more open with my feelings and I could tell that cab driver to get a move on. I had just graduated from college. I was 20 years old. And I was told as I was graduating, oh, you'll just play dumb blondes, which I did later. But. Uh, I got to play Natalie in a production of Feeling Electric, which then became Next to Normal. It was one of those great reminders that as an actor, you can play anything. Okay, okay I'm gonna be wild. Okay. Okay, these two are tied right now for ones that I had the most fun in. This one was like a family, and this one was actually a family. So going to the theater every night was like going to say hi to my family and hang out with them. Family time was magic and really fun. All I have to say is, bone gown! My Sandy was a little awkward, and <laughs> I put laughs in places that there shouldn't have been laughs. They were doing a production of Grease, and their Sandy got vertigo and strep, and they only had three more days until the first show. I think I was like in algebra, and I like left the class to pick up my phone. I had cricket service. I had my own cell phone that I paid for by myself in high school. I was my own agent at the time. Hello. And they were like, can you play Sandy in Greece? You only have two days. And I was like, I need my equity card, a choir concert off, and graduation off. And they said, deal. Can you believe that? I would never do that today. I would never be like, I need this, this, and this, and I'll come do it. But back then, I was a balza. I wish more people would have gone to see uh, Dogfight in general because I think it was really beautiful. I had the best fake teeth on all of Broadway, even though it was off Broadway at second stage. This is one of the most favorite parts I've ever played. I love Maureen, I always loved Maureen, I always wanted to play Maureen, I never thought I'd get the chance. Thank God Michael Greif believed in my Maureen. I'm about to go do an evening performance of Sylvia. And I'm so sore in places I didn't know could be sore. My earlobes are sore. My chest bone is sore. My uterus is sore. We don't know why. My spirit is really just going full out authentic, trying to be a dog. And I guess dogs are just really sore all the time. This is a triple header here. These productions are viewed worldwide. So people from all over the world uh, like Betty. So sometimes I have people on like, Ribadochi, Betty, blah, blah, blah. I have some magical fans from all over the world from when Legally Blonde uh, was aired on MTV. And also, I did a scene with Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex and the City. Um, I played a spoiled label queen. <laughs> I don't know if you know, it was a worldwide phenomenon. So, people like that too. This experience was overwhelming just now. I'm looking at all the magical colored pieces on the floor. It's one of those great reminders that I'm just a real lucky girl. I've gotten to tell some great stories with some really great people. I'm just uh, grateful for all the magical fans out there um, who've appreciated the weirdness of some of these wonderful ladies.